All right, hello, hello. Let me just double check my microphone settings. Let me hit this transition button so you can see my lovely face. Hello, it is so good to see you all. You are all looking wonderful today. <laughs> Was that creepy? I'm, I, I never know. So recently I've gone back to work, right? And one thing I found myself saying a lot is when I meet, when I see some of my, you know, colleagues, for the first time after like the month that I've been away I'm always just like hey you look well is that like is that like offensive it's not offensive not at all but is it like creepy if I say it to like someone who's like you know young and like you know pretty and healthy and such I don't know I don't think it is you know but every time I say it afterwards my brain is like holy shit Charles you just said that this person looks great how dare you <laughs> Sometimes you just have to learn how to say, hey brain, shut up and let me handle this. I got this. <laughs> but I hope you are all doing wonderfully. How have your weekends been? How have you all been doing? You don't find it that weird. Oh, okay. Well, I will say that to you next time I see you, which is probably never because I don't believe we have ever actually met in person. Despite playing together for how long has it been? I think it's been like at least two years, maybe longer than two years, right? But yeah, isn't it so weird that we can have such great friendship and yet never actually see each other? One of the students that I help out in school, um, most of his social interaction is online through Discord, of all things. He is, you know, he does have social difficulties. Um, so it's not easy for him to speak face to face, but it's just astounding to me that like you could have such you know rich um relationship with other people even without seeing you know their face so yeah um we are carrying on today in our black and white game i believe we have recently just moved into our new land yeah let me just take a second here to refamiliarize myself it has been a week i missed a stream on saturday because work basically blindsided me and it affected, you know, what I could do during the rest of the uh, the week to prepare. I'm kind of like a slow going guy. Um, one second, I think I need to turn this up a little bit. There we go, I think that works. Let's just wait until we hear some dialogue. Just gonna wait for a second here while we get some dialogue. That sounds okay. Does that sound okay? Is the audio balance fine? I think the audio balance sounds okay, I think. <laughs> not uh, not reliable information coming from someone who's partially deaf, but hey, there we go. Um, I was saying something before. I can't remember exactly what I was saying. Two to three years at this point? You know, some of your friends by face, though pictures are... Their own, uh, oh, three pictures. But only a rare few have seen you. Yeah, you are a veritable ghost, my friend. <laughs> oh man, we have... I forgot we changed over to the sheep. Sadly, I think there's only one creature that we can access on this land. Unless the ultimate mod adds more. Um, we have two of these things. Should we... Ah, uh, that's right. We... Oh, yeah, and there's no, um, no more influence, huh? So we can't exploit the influence anymore. Okay, so let's plop that there. I do want to still find out how they've changed the artifacts. Because of the two things that, like, seriously broke this game, well, three things, I think. One is the, um, the influence pause glitch. Two is the, just the sheer amount of belief that you can store inside each one of these artifacts. And three, the overpoweredness of wonders, especially wonders combined with artifacts. Hope you are all staying hydrated. Where I live, it is currently torrential outside, so all you need to do is go outside and open your mouth. I would not, re do not do that. That is a surefire way to catch something. <laughs> um, I am going to turn this down a bit personally for me. It should not affect anything on your guys' side of it. There we go. Okay, so I believe we had built yeah we had built the this thing and then we had done these two i remember having trouble with the shield miracle because we have no influence out wait what we have influence oh i see 
Okay. We so we have influence inside here. The game gives you influence around this uh, this hut, simply so that you can cast your shield miracle on it uh, for the purposes of the tutorial. But because of the no more influence uh, patch, like if I go out here, like look at how far away that is. Actually, I don't know why. No, excuse me. I just finished eating, so I still got a bit of hiccups. Um, I still don't know why he didn't allow us to cast the shield miracle here last time, but anyway. Um, we are playing the ultimate mod, so this is supposedly hard mode, and supposedly the AI is a lot more aggressive. Um, he has yet to take over this town, and it seems like he has at least started to this influence this town. Do not go near. I'll go near, don't be so territorial, man. We're neighbours after all. Don't you know what it means to be a good neighbour? I think we still need to try and find... Buildings. Oh, you're over... Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. So your creature is being trapped by Kazar. As I say that, it looks like he's actually getting uh, getting some free time. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. Kazar, the brilliant mind that he is, he throws a fireball onto a creature standing in water. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um... I believe we can still steal his scaffold, though. We can. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's grab. Let's just grab all of these, right? This is a. This is a three level. A level three scaffold, which would be enough to give us a um, civic building, which these guys are probably going to want at some point. And this is the crash. Now I'm not normally sure where I should place the crash. Also, it seems like their housing desire is a bit too high, so I can't just yet. Plop down the um, Miracle wood. Uh, plop down a crash because they want houses more than a crash. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and fill this workshop up with wood Miracle so then wood. the nice little old man who lives inside of it can. Uh, oh, we didn't trigger this yet. Your village now truly has more room for people. Building more will encourage growth. This is a village I want to be part of. In my own village, I held the knowledge of the forest miracle. Follow me. All right, here we go. Now, this forest miracle is pretty good for us when it comes to land three. I'm not sure what the ultimate mod changes in regards to land three, but I hope the um, the uh, wonder, um, the wondrous uh, forest miracle helps quite a bit. Throwing fire at things in the water doesn't, that, doesn't sound that smart to me. It. Yeah, exactly. The wood it provides is a um, let me actually move over to the live scene here. Um, once it actually realizes that we're playing a game, I will transfer you guys over. Right now it looked like it's just... Uh, oh, I've got it turned off, that's why. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go onto this screen. I need to remember my, uh, my scene settings here. I wish there was a way to do it automatically, just like Attach it to my brain and have it just read what overlay I want, right? But, yeah. Um, so he says that we have enough people. Let me take a look see if that's correct. We have 31 out of 37. Yeah, we have enough buildings to um, occupy everyone. But I don't know why it still wants us to build one of these things. Probably going to have to place it here so that we can force it into a smaller space. So that it can become a crash instead of a, uh, a thingamabob. But we are going to get another thingamabob. Just by going over here and just being this like, Hey bro, can you spot me a scaffold? <laughs> if you're not quick enough, sometimes he can actually steal the scaffold back from you. I have seen it happen. It's not very often that it happens. But I think once the AI sets his mind to something, there's no stopping it. <laughs> Whether that goes with the plucking out trees from outside of your influence to stealing back your um, uh, your scaffold that you stole from them. <laughs> the AI is just like unstoppable when it sets its mind to it. And you can be too. You know, we are a motivational stream here. We want to motivate people to do their absolute best. Also, I am getting practice for trying to motivate students in my class. I had one student today who was... Um, uh, the first student I've had so far who's been pretty un uh, unwilling and pretty resistant to um, just like classes in general and just like all star. Sometimes you get a student like that, it's um, the best, like, I wouldn't necessarily remedy, but I guess that's the closest word. The best remedy to that is just to, you know, be with them, be patient, 
um, and just try to, you know, be there through whenever they're having a hard time and just, you know, be that, uh, be that, you know, support rock for them. Although, that might, we've been given a temporary timetable, so I'm not actually sure if I'm with the student or not, but hey. Just dealing key trees casually? Absolutely. I have had it at one point. There's a skirmish map where there is a lack of trees. Uh, oh, people are actually dancing around this. Interesting. I wonder if we, if we don't impress them, what... Like, if, what's the it, belief is this thing storing? Because only people who believe in me, like, can store my, my energy, right? Let's see. Oh, man. Only two people dancing around this thing? Come on, man. I don't know what it is with the first village. It might just be population issues. It might just be, like, um, population density. Like, if we look here. Like, look, we have this entire village center just devoid of anything here. Um, except for this dancing stone. Maybe if we put it, like, right here, right? Oh, no, but people are traversing this path just because they want to get this built, huh? Hmm. Well, okay. The only other suggestion I have is to place it near the crash, but the children only dance around this thing during dawn and dusk, which is a very short time frame. Okay, my creature is impressing people there. We do want this to be the land where we teach our creature the, um, the miracle flock. 800, about 800 belief left. Okay, creature, what are you up to? Creature's hungry. Are you eating from a fish farm, perhaps? Maybe put it in the most travelled road. Mm -hmm. Um, well, there's no most travelled roads. Like, I don't know where the people move between, right? It's not like they, like, trample the ground and leave a road that way, like in real life. It sounds like something that Peter Molyneux would promise in a game like this. But, hey. I guess it just means that we need to just take a look at where people are all going to. Like, it seems like there are people moving to and from here. These guys seem to be going home. Although, are you going home or are you... No, you're dropping off your log. <laughs> She's literally taking a dump to the village store. Anyway, enough scatological jokes. Let's go ahead and trigger this. So this is a bit more of a tutorial. Gonna go ahead and try and speed our way through this. Alright, just teaching us about gestures. You can charge miracles without having to return. Do you guys know of any game that does mouse gestures like this as well as this game does? Because this game is super duper like responsive to the symbol that you draw with your mouse. It's actually awesome. I've heard that people say that it can be buggy from time to time. Honestly, I find that it's more buggy in the sequel, which is ironic. Um all your gestures are summarized but at the bottom also right oddly of enough the in the sequel the gestures are Get a um they're an, they're an optional purchase which is very strange Superb. you should practice your all right let's go ahead and impress this town look like why don't you make did we teach our creature how to how to cast miracle food on the last land if not let's bring our creature up here Maybe our creature can even learn from Kazar using Miracle Wood. Alright, head on over here. Okay, he hasn't learnt it yet. From your general knowledge, you don't know of any game that does that. Yeah, I feel like most games that do have things like mouse gestures in aren't very um, good, <laughs> to say the least. Creatures have learned how to cast Miracle Food! Okay! Now my creature is sad for some reason. Why are you sad, buddy? Uh, oops. Creature's just tired, I guess? Okay. Um... Can we click this? We need to fill up the village store with food. Okay. Let's just have our creature watch us for a little bit. Miracle food. There you go, creature. Are you, ca are you catching my drift? Oh yeah, he's got it. He did it. Okay, let's go ahead and reward him. Let's give him maybe about 40%. There we go. Excellent. Ah, fantastic. The village store and the people are easily impressed. 
The town needs more Do you know of any other games similar to this? I think that might be a better question. What game that you've played is the most similar to this game and why? I think it's difficult to, to tell because this game is quite unique, honestly. It has, it combines many different things that are like, they're not unique in and of themselves. You've got like City Builder, you've got like, you know, Miracle, um, Miracle casting, you've got, you know, a creature raising, you've got, um, what else do you have? Did I say city management? It has city management, even though it's not very, you know, intricate. Let's go and get this sped up. Alright, creature. So, I believe it is nighttime. Oh no, it's still daytime. Alright, creature, head on over here. And let's see. You dare to trespass what? in my realm? Your realm is over here. I must have just gone into it for him to to complain about that. Uh, okay. So we have a few people here with nothing to do. We have a few builders. Now I don't find disciple builders to be all that useful, because if there's literally nothing to build, they will not do anything. Whereas if they're like, look, now they're going to drop off. Their, uh, their logs, and this one's getting some food. Why didn't they do that while they were a disciple already? Okay, he did that on his own. I'm going to reward him for that. Since he did that on his own without prompting, I'm going to reward him 80. Alright, there we go. Hopefully, this means that he's more kind to my people. What are you doing? We just want to be kind and generous. You going over there to do that? I'll leave you to it. Um, how are people up here doing? They are doing fine. We don't want them starving. The closest game to this you've played, honestly, uh, only Civilization, since you don't have any Sims games. Hmm. I can totally see Civilization. It is interesting. I remember thinking that it's interesting that Civilization is framed as though you are playing a, you know, you're playing a cultural leader, right? So let's say you pick India, you're playing as like Gandhi for, I think, pretty much all of the Civilization games. I think there's a, another Indian leader in Civilization 6 other than Gandhi. Um, yet, you take this top-down perspective, right? So it's like, are you actually playing as the leader? Or are you just, you know, guiding the civilization who is represented by this person? I feel like that's more the case, right? It's more of a matter of, you know, you're not actually like Gandhi or, um, um, what's another leader? Washington or, you know, any of those. I'm actually talking about is now actually making me want to play Civilization. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right. I want to try and make these homes relatively close together. There we go. You need to get out of the way. Take settlements from Lethis, ally. What? What's going on? Did he take over something? His influence is huge. He hadn't even taken this town and his influence is already over here. That is crazy. This is my land. Leave. Ooh, we can actually Welcome can we? To my realm. Hold on, can we actually steal food from here? No, not quite. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, that's okay. Um, we can steal food from here. They don't have too much wood. They tend to use the wood for their... Uh, their scaffold. Do you have a scaffold 5? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Thank you, Kazar. That's, uh, you know, this is a mutually beneficial arrangement, right? My name is Mutual and I benefit from it. So let's go ahead and deconstruct those. Let's get more scaffolds. There we go. And what size are you? You're size 3. I think we still need a graveyard, do we? Yeah, we'll need a graveyard. So let's go ahead and make a graveyard with one of our few scaffolds. I mean, unless they live for hundreds of years since the games go through years like nothing. Yeah, that's also another thing that uh, is like an initial conceptual hurdle to civilization, right? It says that you're playing as, you know, like Mahatma Gandhi or um, Shaka Zulu or something like that. And yet, 
you'd play from like 4000 BC to like, you know, the year 3000 AD. That's like 5000? Is that 5? Yeah, that's 5000 years, isn't it? Dude. Can you believe how crazy it is to think that it's only been like a couple thousand years since like... I don't want to say since the Stone Age because there were absolutely civilizations about then. But like it's typically accredited for like, you know, for being the like the birth of Christ, right? Like the calendar started when Christ was born, the conventional saying. Um, I'm not... I Something's telling me that it was more because that's when... Uh, one of the Roman empires changed changed the 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 calendar. On we're using the Gregorian calendar, aren't we? We, we changed from the the Julian calendar. What calendar did did we change from? I'm pretty sure we have the the um, Gregorian calendar right now. Who made the current calendar? Ooh, we have a fireball map up here. All right. Anyway, our creature looked like he's getting quite portly. I guess that's just the life of being a sheep, right? Um, are you unwell? Man, I'm acting like a good god right now. I should not be a good god. Um, but in terms of, I guess we could try to hurl some fireballs over at Nem over at Lethus. Let's try that. Okay, creature, come over here. You know what? Let Let's kill two birds with one stone. That is what, 14? That was Fireball. not nearly enough. 13, yeah, we are... 613 belief needed. Oh my goodness, okay. This is gonna take a while. I'm pretty sure I didn't start off at 800 last time. Or in, in the base game. Anyway, Fireball. I wanna try and hurl some of these fireballs over towards Lethus. But I'm really not sure how far... I can get it. So that's only just barely going to clear the water. Excuse me. <clears> hmm. <throat> I ate a little bit fast today. I actually got paid today, so I had some takeaway. Um, for the first time in like, you know, over two months or so. You got impressed by that, seriously? With a fireball landing. I think that landed a little bit closer. Trying to add a little bit of momentum by moving my mouse slightly forward, but I'm still coming short of that town. Fireball. But yeah, isn't it like crazy that, you know, it's been 2000 years since like, I don't know, Rome was a thing? Well, Rome is still a thing, but like the Roman Empire was, was still a thing? And like how many advancements we've had in like modern history, like that's crazy. Could you imagine how how different life is, or life would have been, or life was before computers were a thing? Anyway, I don't think we're gonna impress these guys anytime soon. This is gonna take a long time to impress them. So I think in the meanwhile we should get some breeders going. Um, where is a suitable breeding candidate? Are these all men? No, we have one woman over here. Disciple okay. Disciple breeder. Disciple breeder. Disciple there we go. Breeder. Conveniently, they're all also the exact same age. Um, are all of our women like at the worship site? We have some here. Your breeder. Oh yeah, you're your. I remember somebody in chat uh, in one of the streams that we did said that there was like an optimal ratio of um, breeding um, breeding disciples. I believe it's like what three to one ratio of men versus women breeders. Before that, I just made all the breeders men because you know a man can have like a thousand children. Uh, well, not literally, but like they can have a lot of children in a small time, where the woman can only have one child every you know. X amount of time, right? You need to impress this village. All right, I don't know how we can actually impress this village. We're only getting nine. We're only getting single digits of belief right now. We advance farther and farther the more we experiment. Yeah, it seemed like it. 
but it also seems to be a logarithmic rise. Unless we're about to head into a new dark we're age, which I wouldn't put a past humanity to do. Or should I say like a dark age of advancement, right? Like we've already come so far. Do we continue? Do we like, what's going to be the next biggest discovery, right? I know it's probably really difficult to, to answer food. or to figure out. But I feel like there's been a lot of talk about quantum computing. I'm not even sure if there is a quantum computer out right now, but I feel like a quantum computer would be the next logical step to, you know, in our evolution as a hu the human species. And then, how many steps do you think it'll take until, uh, until we traverse space? Do we feel like it's going to be in our lifetime? I think we also best, better not fall into the um, the flying car trap either. The flying car trap is, you know, like 40 years ago, people thought that we would be flying cars. There would be flying cars on the street, like regularly in the year like 2000, right? Have we actually gone past the... Do any of you remember the Jetsons? Have we gone past the date that the Jetsons is set in? Because that was like a hyper, hyper advanced civilization. Oh, this is our, this is our craftsman, right? This is, this is the dude. Disciple breeder. <laughs> it is the dude. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, none of these guys are, like, dancing. Come on, guys. Can you dance? Something's Will you dance now? With your minions. Come on, I just threw it on one person. What do you mean something's wrong with them? Like, look, their mercy their mercy desires are 100%. I just crushed one villager. Do you have, know how many villagers there are here? There's like at least 40. In a good situation, you would say it would be near the end of our lifetime if we live close to 100 years old. Hmm. Yeah, it's just really difficult to try and predict what might happen like i feel like we'll definitely see quantum computing by the time that we're um by the time we're done holy crap this, this freaking influence dude look at it my man has okay let's get a better view of this let's go into the temple is it crashing oh it's not crashing there we go Look at Lethus's influence! It's off the map! This can't be just because he has that one wonder, can it? You probably- oh yeah, you can't see on the screen right now, let me- let me do that. Like, look at this! It's off the map! It's off the map up here, around here. He's asserting a dominance on me, oh no. So this is definitely the first thing that we've seen from the uh, from the ultimate mod. No one crosses Lethus ground. We haven't even impressed this one village yet. This is making me think that the conventional like impress tactic is probably not going to work too well. Um, I might even have to go into a skirmish map to try and get this uh, this creature to learn. Let me see what skirmish maps we have access to. Because I want to teach my creature Miracle Block, and if we have access to our old Skirmish Miracles, that would be good. Sorry, our, our old Skirmish map, then we do... Um, land 1 Skirmish? Is it Land 1 Skirmish? I don't think it is. I believe it is... Uh, no, come on. I believe it is case training map or it might just be good no it's definitely not good versus evil uh playground skirmish firestorm build no i can't remember which one it is let's pick the training map it might be the training map holy cow yep here we go okay this is the one we want now we just need okay we have it over here cool so we'll go and bring our creature over here He's not big enough yet to hold the Miracle Seed. So we can't quite give it to him. 
So we need to do this as responsibly as possible. Look like he's going to learn 3% each time. Well, and I think he's done for the day already. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, creature, come on back. Oh, you're actually quite hungry, aren't you? Okay, here. How about a thousand food? How does that sound? Lovely. I love it when my creature actually eats the things he's been given. <laughs> All right, there we go. 7%. We're getting there. Don't poop against it. That is not how you respect the thing that is training you. We're having to talk about this quite a lot to the students in uh, in school right now. Uh, oops. Not pooping against things. No, absolutely not. But um, I'm seeing parallels between our creature pooping on the on the uh, the pedestal and children falling asleep in class or talking over other people. I really do wonder how it works psychologically. I only use three percent of his brain, and it's done for the day. Yep. What can we say? He's a smart critter. He is a very smart critter. Why does it? Okay, next time he does that, I'm actually going to punch him for it instead of uh, doing that. All right, he's probably going to go poop now. He is. Uh, oops. Okay, creature, what are you going to do? You know what? Sure, I'll poop against it. That's not. Okay, let's let's try this again. Creature, are you paying attention? There we go. All right, you see that? Now you want to poop? Now I'm going to punch you for that. There we go. We don't want him pooping against that sort of thing. What are you going to poop against? Or what are you going to do? You're just feeling playful, huh? Now is not the time to play. Now is the time for learning, my friend. Okay, what are you up to now? Feeling playful. What did I tell you about feeling playful? There we go. Let's just slap you 10%. Creature, over here. 37. This is why I don't like creatures playing with uh with their with their toy balls. Like look at him. Okay, what are you up to now? Feeling kind and generous. Okay, I can reward that kind of behavior. Just ten percent though. <laughs> she he's got a fan. He's got a fan. No name though, but he's got a fan. But playing with a ginormous beachful is fun. Yeah, it absolutely is fun. And sadly, the creature's not productive when it's being when it's having fun. It is uh, <laughs> it's just being a waste of space and a waste of coding. The first few times that I played black and white, and honestly, up until my big black and white hiatus between the ages of like what, twelve and like twenty. Um. I, I just wish that I didn't have to deal with the creature. The creature was useful every now and then, but the creature was a bit more hassle than it was worth, I felt. All right, creature, let's get back to learn. Let's learn, bub. Uh, let's not poop, let's learn. We're at 35%, we've still got a long way to go, my, my buddy. If we do this too fast, he will not get a percentage point. Like so. Thankfully... Oh, that actually did give him a percentage point. Interesting. Thankfully, we have this map that gives us this miracle basically for free. As soon as we cast it, instead of there being like an extremely long wait time, it just gives us it right now. Are you going to poop again? What are you doing? You want to be kind and generous. Um, he wants people to dance around him. I'm going to slap him for that because that's not what I want him to do right now. Uh, okay, let me let me slap him again this time properly. <laughs> properly, two slaps. All right, creature. 
Um, it is getting night time. Let's actually bring you to your pen. This is a good thing to get your creature into. Just bring him to the pen so that he can sleep at night. And then reward him when he wakes up. He must be an evil sheep. Evil sheeps are scary. <laughs> I believe we've seen evil sheeps on our uh, creature isle run. But evil sheeps are frightening. They're terrifying. Alright, let's, let's have you get to sleep again. I believe you can go to sleep because it is night time. Creature is frightened. There we go. That should help him out. There we go. That sorted out his night terrors. Alright, buddy. There you go. This is how you parent. This is not how you parent. Parenting is easy peasy, man. Alright, is it is it daytime? It looked like it is daytime. Oh. Uh, no, I want to stroke you. Listen to that. That is the sound of a good boy. There we go. That's the line that we need. That is the line that we need if we want to train our creature to sleep at night. Your creature will rest more at night. And he should wake up at some point. I might actually leave this game on, on that training map that I showed you guys the other day. Just so that he can get to sleep and wake up and he is pretty big. Because that is going to really help with impressiveness. Man, if only that worked in real life, scare someone into not being scared or something else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll only traumatize them for the rest of their life and, you know, 20 years down the line they'll figure out that they can't actually, that they have trouble expressing themselves because they were punished for expressing themselves before. Totally something that's happened, totally something that, like, every parent does. Don't do that at home. Don't do it at home. Believe me, don't do it at home. Is it me or is this night like super long? Alright. Well, no, he's not done yet. Let's go ahead and give him a little zoom in. What do you think we should name our creature, by the way? Creature's name is, uh, is open for business. Not literally, but like, you guys can decide what name we should name our creature. Um, I wonder if I can make it a pole or something? I'm gonna have to work out how that works out <laughs> between streams. I don't want to mess around with stream setting while I'm streaming. Because one, I have no idea what I'm doing. And two, it means that there's gonna be a little bit of dead air. And that's not what you guys tuned in for, you guys have tuned in. Well, you know, you guys have tuned in for, for being chill, right? Or you just saw this game and you're like, hey, I want to see someone play black and white. OMG, I remember this game from my childhood. This game is the OG, man. Alright. Time to continue our training, creature. What are that, 66%? Seventy percent, okay. I think the reason why it's saying that our creature needs to go poop whenever we click on this. Oh, okay, we need to punish him. Do we punish him for that? No, we don't punish him for that. We want him to be evil, right? Alright, let's go ahead and strike him. There we go. Now, I believe he's going to want to go out and find another person to grab, but people are much faster than him, so he won't be able to grab anything. Oh, you're just going into the field? Interesting. Creature's feeling playful. Okay, what does this translate to? What are you actually doing? You're pointing at a fisher! What if we name him Badger? We can absolutely name him Badger. 
Alright, creature, what are you up to? Healing playful, huh? So here, here's what you do when you're feeling playful. Okay? Creature is angry. Alright, let's go ahead and praise him for throwing people. It's simple steps, man. Simple steps. This lady is not catching a break. <laughs> Neither is that cow. I am going to punish him for attacking cows. Because cows should not be touched. Alright, that, that, that'll that be enough for that lady. She's on at a 14%. Even I'm not that evil to kill someone like that. Today. Alright, now that we've had a little bit of playtime, let us teach him a little bit more. We have 77. Alright, let's go ahead and give our creature a name now. I believe it is in here. Yeah, it is. Badger. There we go. My creature's name is now Badger. How good of a pet does a sheep make? I know that pigs actually make for like really good pets. But I'm not sure about sheep. Has anyone ever like kept a domestic sheep? I mean, other than farmers. I mean, look at how well behaved he is. I feel like sheep should be um, should be a should be a really good pet. Wouldn't hurt a fly. You see what I mean? And he loves children as well. Okay, maybe he's a bit shy today. He's also lazy, but we'll beat that out of him at some point. I mean, we'll, we'll train him out of it. Sure some people have. I think, I think I would like a goat as a pet. Goats are pretty cool creatures. I know a lot of people who, well, religiously goats are like, oh, I need to be careful here. We're running out of wood. Mercy. Oh no. <sighs> I actually held my, held my breath there for that one. That was painful. All right, creature. You're angry. Okay, because you're angry and because you threw that at a house, I'll accept it. Don't include Ooh. me in this wanton carnage. Our creature's in the stomping tantrum. <laughs> At least he can't be one in there anymore. That is true. At least not now. Oh! Okay, let's see how far this guy flies. Ooh! That was a one-hit knockout! I heard someone else shouting in fear. Creature, where are you? You're over here? Someone else flying? I don't see someone else flying. Oh, that guy was just fishing, minding his own business. This guy skims across the floor like a rock against water. He is alive and he is limping back on home. Poor old Nathaniel Harbard. Is that your name? Nathaniel Harbard? Poor old Nathaniel Halbert. Found himself on the receiving e Receiving end. Do you guys hear that? You know what that sounds like? That sounds like the Creed. Alright, creature, what's next on your agenda? It is not telling me. Oh, okay, you're just getting some water, huh? 
I'll accept that. Alright. Time to continue your training. The villagers have rebuilt this pedestal. It's almost as if there was... There was a... Uh, it's almost as if it was the original. Alright, we're at 91. A few more castings and we should be able to get it. And then we can take him to a... Um, Non-believing town. Sounds like someone's getting abducted by alien. It does, it does sound like the, the abduction ray beam. Alright, fantastic. He's learned how to cast that. Let's bring him over here and just observe. So here we have a village of layabouts. This is what happens when you don't have a god. Everyone in town is just about doing nothing. They have no wants in life. They have no desires to do anything. They have no ambitions either. Like, look at them. Look at this lady here just sauntering across the, the field. This is actually, this is almost terrifying, honestly. Imagine coming over here and seeing all these people on this hill, <laughs> just, uh, just sitting all day, every day. All right. Let's see what our creature wants to do. Creature wants to impress somebody. Are you going to do the thing? You are asking them to dance around you? Okay, I will... I'll, I'll praise you once. That is not exactly what I want you to do, but it's along the same lines. Okay, creature, that's, that's just about enough. He's already had two pigs while well, his hunger was zero. Alright, creature. Are you gonna do the thing? It, it doesn't look like he's doing the thing. Let's reset him. And just wait and watch. This is, um, okay. This is a patient task of patience right now. Trying to cool down. Boop. Okay, creature. Head on back over here, yeah? You know what you're meant to be doing, right? You want to impress somebody, that's good. He did it! 264 believe, okay. We need to we need to reward him like mad. He's getting the full one hundo. <laughs> He's casting it again. How much did we get from that? I don't know. I didn't see. But we will reward him. Let's reward him 40 since he is at 70, uh, 80 tiredness. There we go. <laughs> the most British sound I have ever heard. You're right, Roy. Well, it sounds like he's saying, you're right, Roy. Someone is happy. You, don't you hear it? You all right, all right? All right, this is going to help us immensely when it comes to impressing villagers. Summoning birds, yeah, absolutely. They're very impressive. They're not birds, they're bats. Get it right. We're evil, we're not good, okay? I mean, we're good at the game. But where are you? <laughs> I just love how much fun this, this creature looked like he's having. I can't zoom in even closer. Oh, no, I can. I can do this. All right, what are you up to now, creature? He's moving so fast the camera can't catch up to him. He's a speedy boy. All right. <laughs> I'm having a bit too much fun with this, honestly. All right, head on back over here. All right. Now let's see if he can eat one of our own villagers. Don't know why this person is sleeping at home in the middle of, like, nowhere. All right. 
What are you going to eat now that you have the selection? What? Did he actually just eat a rock without vomiting? He ate a second one. But that first rock, did he just eat it without vomiting? That is a first. The sheep is turning into freaking Abigail from Stardew Valley. Eating quartz, eating <laughs> raw minerals from the earth. <sighs> Alright, eating something from the farm is a little bit more socially acceptable. And since you're a sheep, sleeping in the farm is also socially acceptable. We can even see some black smoke coming out from him if you look carefully. Uh, there we go. That is a surefire sign that says that we are raising our creature well. Well, other than the fact that he keeps waking up and moving and then going back to sleep. Anyway, let's bring him here. Here you go, creature. Ikatakimas. That is not Ikatakimas. That is the opposite of Ikatakimas. That is Ikatakimasen. I don't. I don't even know if that conjugates properly. <laughs> what? Really? You don't. You didn't want to eat that guy. All right. Well, rocks are very tasty. Now that we have taught him Miracle Flock, we can return back to the skirmish, uh, back to the scenario map. Here we go. And now, ideally, he should start to impress these guys. You only gave 12 belief? <gasps> oh man, I really did eat a lot. Okay, this town is not going to be easy to impress whatsoever. Can't believe this guy's influence is so crazy. Um, okay. If he does start to impress the towns, and if the towns are easier for him to impress than they are for me to impress, then all is not lost. We do still have a few tricks up our sleeve. One of the tricks we didn't use in our main playthrough of the, of the game, which you can find... Uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash typhoon win. <laughs> Shameless self promotion there, but hey, as my stream, deal with it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we have one, one strategy that we didn't use in our main playthrough that we can still use right now. Otherwise, we might also still have the luxury of, um, being able to eradicate all the all the villagers in the village and then replacing them with our own worshippers that could be another method to use our creature seems to be getting a wee bit tired so let's bring him back here and you know what we can also make use of some missionaries disciple missionary this should disciple give us a constant stream of influence into this town we'll also get a few traders as well first time i heard uh disciple trader i actually heard disciple traitor and i'm like what who betrayed me disciple trader all right so these guys will go between this village store and our village store and generate belief through that um we need about just under 500 belief left Once our creature has rested, um, we should actually be able to do the forest miracle. miracle forest. This might get us a decent amount. So let's plant it over here where there seem to be a quite a few people. Or over here. Yeah, 24. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for a bit more. Well, let's go ahead and throw these trees in. Yeah, I don't think this, this influence is worth it. This the amount of belief generated but hey that's okay that's okay <laughs> I 
Um, what else might help? I think we tried throwing fireballs over them. We haven't tried putting them under a miracle shield. But honestly, I think this is just going to be slow going. I think this is how they're doing. They're doing this one. So let's try the miracle shield. Physical shield. Preferably in area. Sure, let's do it around around our rock here. Only 12 belief, huh? <laughs> Great. All right, let's pick up the shield. Let's plant it somewhere else, see if we can get a little bit more more value out of that. 27, that's a bit more like it. But I suppose now in the meantime, creature's hungry. You know what, let's punish him for eating from there. Not what I wanted to punish him for. It's really difficult to tell whether you're punishing him for eating something or punishing him for eating when his energy is low. I feel like there's specific times for it to happen, but it's, uh, it's really not clear whatsoever. And years of experience have told me that it feels like there are different times when you can punish or when you can do something uh, like that to a creature and reward them for the thing that you want them to be rewarded for. How's our housing situation? 43 out of 62, we've still got a lot of homes, but, I mean... Conquer Lethys Realm by taking his villages. We just need to go to Santa Claus over there, get some more homes for our people, and then pretend that we've done all the work. Oh, you're eating? Well, that's a very bad thing to do. I am not eating right now. Um... Man, my brain is all over the place right now. I feel like I can't remember the thing I literally just said. My brain is very much in a in a do it and forget it type of mode right now. Um, this is what uh, this is what having an entire month's worth of being off work and then suddenly going back to work does to you. Your body gets complacent, and the uh, <laughs> and then your uh. Your mind can't keep up when you actually need to start doing stuff. Uh, oh, there's no workshop over here. Have you captured this town yet? No. Okay. You must expand your realm. Mm-hmm. Exactly Stay what I'm doing, away. my friend. No one crosses Lethe's ground. Such a bad neighbor, I swear. We passed by his neighborhood once to get from our friend's place to our place and he's like, get off our lawn. Get off our lawn, mate. We don't want you here. <laughs> At least it's not America and the people there don't have guns. And, um, well, I guess Nemesis or Lethus does have like fireballs and lightning bolts and such, but hey. Okay, let's take a look at where the creatures are. So he is currently impressing this town. I wish there were a way to see how much influence there they've got so far. We need a thousand belief left to get that village. Turtle friend is over here. Help me, friend. You must help me. Yeah, yeah. Just give me more scaffolding, please. I was good this Christmas. Thank you very much. I don't know, I almost feel like we should get more scaffold so we can build a... Uh... Do not stray over my territory! Whatever, Lethus. Look, just because you have a wonder, and I don't, doesn't mean that you can rub it in my face, man. He is obnoxious. Consolidate your position by building more. Oh, we still have another scaffold in our hand, okay. You need to impress this village. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Let's head on back over here. It's a new day, a new rooster has crowed. Let's go ahead and bring these guys up here so that they can start doing their, their thing. Now that we have more influence, we can actually move this a little bit closer to the main village. Trying to make sure... 
I don't lean too much. And uh, you guys don't get a just a still image of my forehead on the camera. All right, man. Well, there's a lot of people here. Three hundred sixty-five belief left. A hundred people living here. Ooh, how much did that did that give us? Two. Thirty-one. Okay, dual casting. Twenty-three. Okay, we just need to do that like ten more times. I imagine this is how God's lives are like, and then suddenly the cleric called them on their celestial phone and interrupts the day. Yeah, whenever you cast divine intervention in Dungeons and Dragons, it's just uh, you're you're just interrupting their their the casual every day, right? Miracle food. But yeah, as a reminder for everyone who has uh, just tuned into the stream, we are playing a mod of Black and White, the original Black and White from 2001, um, which makes the game harder. It also gives you alternative um, uh, options to mess around with, so our temple might look a little bit strange. That's because we changed the color of it. And also, our influence color is now yellow. So if you're wondering about any of those changes, that's why. Oh man, creature. Alright, creature. Come on back, please. Casting Miracles does tire out our creature, but hey. Let's go ahead and try a Lightning Storm here. These guys are getting a bit too complacent. Only two people dead? That's what I call a bargain. Alright, you guys want a shield as well? There you go, bro. Nice shield there to protect you from the lightning bolts I'm going to throw at you. A killing's hmm. always good fun. It didn't seem like it impressed anyone when it hit the shield. Alright. Honestly, there is population overgrowth here, so we need to do a little bit of population management. 96 out of 110. Well, they do have homes still, but, you know, don't tell... Don't tell people, don't tell the city elder, okay? Miracle food. All right, now our creature just needs some food. We can feed him one of our loyal, loyal worshippers. Here we go, go ahead and eat. Oh no, he's doing it again. All right, creature, here. You gonna eat? He's not gonna eat, he's just gonna throw him away. Oh, he ate! There we go. Oh. <laughs> I always get so nervous every time that happens. I'm like, I don't know what happens when they do that. I don't know why sometimes they eat, sometimes they just keep it in their hands. They're meant to eat whenever we praise them while they have something in their hands. Regardless of what it is. Alright, creature, don't poop against that, please. The only things you can poop against are farms. This is probably going to force you to um, pick up some grain. Yep. You see, the game cheats a little bit. It expects you to train your creature how to do things, but sometimes some interactions just have them automatically do things. Like that farm, for instance. I just clicked on that farm once. I intended to tell uh, for that to tell him that, hey, you can poop here. But no, instead he just grabbed it and then automatically ate it. You saw how much trouble we had just now. <laughs> or you saw how non-automatic it was just now for him to eat something. So, I don't know. This uh, this game's AI is just weird sometimes. I am also feeling uncharacteristically tired today. So I might finish the stream a little bit early. We will try to get this town impressed before... Oh, easy enough. We only have 64 belief left. Um, okay, once we take over this town, and we make decent headway on this town, we can... We'll go ahead and we'll end the stream. You dare to trespass in my realm? Go away, man. It's, it's almost like his answering machine, isn't it? You dare to trespass in my realm? 
can can we hire the voice actor for Lethus and just have them make a a um an, an answering machine call message for us? What? Dude, this is my I mean it's technically not my influence. But holy crap, man. You dare to trespass in my realm? For a kid's influence is almost up at our I don't know how clear that comes across. Like it influences right here. I really don't know how clear that comes across. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. An AI is only as good as its creator. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I need to... Oh, we don't have heal. We get heal from this town that we're trying to impress. It's literally the only miracle they give. All right, creature. Um, ugh, man. <sighs> okay, that's fine. It's not like it screwed us up. It's just given our creature a few red bruises here and there. Some pretty major ones, honestly. Those are some pretty major bruises. So these guys should be doing their job and giving me a little bit more influence every now and then. Yeah, down from 64 to 53 without even seeing any change pop up on our hand. That is good. Now, I only wish that people would start dancing around these things more. We'll plant this towards the crash. That way I believe we'll get some more... Here, let me get into a more comfortable position. And let me... There we go. Instead of uh, trying to sit up, sit up straight for two hours straight, let's uh, let's go ahead and just relax a little. Right, you guys are complaining about wood. Yeah, fifty-seven percent. That's okay. We have some spare trees over here. Lovely, jubbly. Where are you playing this mod of Black and White 2? Um, so this is a mod for Black and White 1, the original game. Um, if you type in exclamation point BW Discord, it'll give you a Discord invite to the Discord server for Black and White, the community server for Black and White. And there in the Black and White 1 mod section, uh, you can find the link to the Black and White Ultimate mod. Um, the channel also has, uh, oh, the Discord also has channels for other, uh, for Black and White 2 and other mods for both Black and White 1 and Black and White 2. So it's well worth checking out. It gives you the links and everything there. There you go. Hope you enjoy perusing to your heart's content. All right. Hopefully, our creature eats a eats a villager. Uh, he has ate a what? What did he eat? Oh my goodness! I don't even know what he ate. <laughs> that is going to be a pain in the butt to try and train out of him. Thank you. I was thinking about this game randomly yesterday and thought, let me see if it's on Twitch. Then I found you. Ah, I am glad to welcome you to the stream. Um, not too many people stream this game, unfortunately. That's hopefully something that we can help to fix. The more publicity we give this game, the more likely it is that we get a sequel. So that's kind of part of my inspiration for wanting to stream this. We have already done a full playthrough of this game. Um, not the Black and White Ultimate mod, but of the original base game plus Creature Isle. Um, over on, and you can find that over on my YouTube channel, Twitch. Uh, Twitch, no youtube.com forward slash uh, typhoon win there is a nice handy playlist there that gives you all of the streams in which i have played this game and we start from scratch from the first island in black and white to the last trial in um in creature isle so if you want to enjoy some black and white content that is available for you to go and watch at uh, at no cost to you You guys are complaining about food? Come on, man. You have what? 5,000? That's more than enough, right? 
Miracle Alright, let's go ahead and fill these guys up. Yeah, even if we didn't get a sequel, an update uh, release would be good. Um, so let me let me get you the link here. So I did try... Um, let me see. Okay, here we go. Um, I did we want to... Uh, oh, hold on a second. Yeah, I did want to um, put this on at the bottom of my my uh, my stream. Here we go. This is this is the link. I'm gonna make it a hyperlink below my stream at some point. I've recently started work, so I um, haven't had too much time to to do some administrative stuff uh, with my Twitch stream recently, but it'll happen at some point. But there you go. I also have some other content on there. Whether you like it or not, it's up to you to decide. I've been... I got videos uploaded there from a long time ago. I've been trying to... Uh, I've been recording um, videos for YouTube for quite a while. On and off, that is. This is my recent wave of being active on the internet. Oh my goodness, how much more? We have seven belief needed? We can literally just throw a dude. Excellent, and welcome to the stream. Um, Bakawaii. <laughs> that is a fantastic conjugation of those two words. I love it. Alright, come on. We're at two belief left. Oh. Finally! Okay, Kazar is now happy. So far, what we found with this mod this is that there's no influence, or there's no reaching outside of your influence. There's also no pause button anymore. You can speed up and slow down time. Oh, and he's going to give us the tutorial. That's absolutely not going to work. Cast miracles outside of your influence. However, there is a way using the power of belief. The camera seems to think our influence ring is here. Yeah, well done, Kazar. Totally not making a fool of yourself right now. Is soon lost until your hand is returned to your realm. And sadly, we can't skip any of these demonstrations either. All right. Well, there we go. Now that we've got that, we have one more scroll available to us. All we gotta do is destroy his temple to eradicate all belief in Lethus. Let's move in. Are we, we starting another wonder? Temple. Oh my good. He has two what? We gotta take this place, boss. I can't oh my stand goodness. Away. Look at how populated this place is. Look at the glow of those disciples! Holy cow! Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this place has been taken over by him. What is the population like over here? Seventy-seven. He's starting a tiny Celtic wonder. He has so. Oh my god. Okay, this is the effect of the ultimate mod, apparently. Look at how many of these things he's placed down. He's even got a scaffold here that he's not even doing anything with. The madman. Super disciples. <laughs> Absolutely super disciples. Oh my goodness. And like on this land, they just start with this thing. Over my territory. Oh no, why is it hand so red? Don't worry about that. We just got a little sunburn is all. There's no suspicious activity going on here. Just a little sunburn, honestly. Honestly, it doesn't even look that bad. Like, I've been trying to grow my nails out and everything. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks kind of good, wouldn't you say? <laughs> um, anyway, population over here. 300! Out of what, 265? Lethus, you have such an insane homeless problem. And then what about over here? 148 out of 109. Okay, well... We clearly know who the favorite village is. Fingernail could use a shiny buff, so they really glow. Yeah, you're right. 
Would you, do you have any uh, any nail polish recommendations Let or anything? Ooh. Ooh, our in. influence ring is now great enough to start this interacting with this. Alright, need to try to remember how to do this properly. Um, there is a trick to this. The trick is if we get like an L-shaped arrangement of trees that are all the same, not like that. We need it to be less, less L-shaped. Oops. Um, does this work? No, this doesn't quite work. It's a really nice puzzle. It is, yeah, but I am especially stupid right now. <laughs> so bear with me as I try to figure this one out. Normally, um, if I do that, yeah, it might just be I have to do this on, on a second stream. I'm not sure if I have the mental capacity to deal with this right now. Uh, oop. Yeah, my normal strategy is to get two, two trees of the same color, uh, the rest of the other color. So something like, um, maybe if we do something like this. Mm, not quite. Nearly there. Mm, no, I think I think we're missing it. If this tree were the same color as this tree, then we would just have to pluck this one and pluck that one. Then we'd be then we'd be good. But now we need to find some way to change. So what if we just do... Oh, we can't interact with... Oh. Don't know how to <laughs> fix it. Hey, I'm not that bad. Come on. You make, you're making me sad. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but it looks like we just lost some influence. So because we don't have any more influence uh, outside of our own influence, we can't interact mine. with that anymore. So do we need to increase our influence here. a little bit. So... Miracle wood. Oh, creature, what are you up to? This is a perfect time. Come down here. I say, come down here. There we go. 8%. Time to teach the sheep Miracle how to wood. create wood. Time to teach the wool how to wood. Miracle how much wood. wool would a wood do? <laughs> I, I don't even know how to carry that on. I thought it sounded good in my head. Apparently not. How much wool would a... Wool. How much wood would a wool cost? How much wood would a wool cost? I'm not sure. I think I think it ends there. I don't think there's a way to salvage that. All right. I believe we have all of our civic buildings. So let's go ahead and start putting down some of these uh, log houses. Let's go over to Santa Claus to see what he has on offer for us. Uh, he has one scaffold right ready for us. Over. Could be better, but maybe it's just a slow day for him right now. There we go. Nice level 4 scaffold. This should get us a few homes. One... There we go, one, two. And then let's get a few more of these. So I have explained this previously, but if you guys didn't know, if there's a house that is still waiting to be constructed, like this log house here, normally if the house is ever constructed and you place down a scaffold value of the same type, so like for instance, this here is the level 2 scaffold house, this log house over here that we're currently building, this over here is also a level 2 uh, house, but as you can see this one only holds three people. But this one holds, what, five people. And the way that you can create more of these homes instead of these homes is you just leave one in the middle of building and then you place down more scaffolds of that same value. That way the blueprint will be the one with the larger space rather than the, the one with the smaller space. The way that it works is that every time you build one it cycles to the next one in line. Um, and I believe this is one of them. I don't know why that's not showing me how many people live there. But yeah, we have, um, yeah, here's a good place to see. So three, four, and five over here. So ideally you want to get the, the, the large log house here as the one on your cycle whenever you're playing a the Norse village. Let's go ahead and feed our worthless worshippers. 
Miracle food. Miracle food. And you know what? I think they're ready for an act of divine intervention here. Alright, are you dead? You are not dead. Perfect. There you go. That'll keep them believing in us. Miracle food. And then let's give them some more food. <laughs> I'm not sure if that quite counts as cannibalism or not. <laughs> what do you think? Totally doesn't count as cannibalism, right? I mean, it's not like you're literally eating flesh. Alright, excellent. These guys are dancing around this. That's good. That should get us the artifact at some point. We still need to figure out exactly how artifacts work outside or inside this mod. Oh no, look at our influence! Why is it going so low? What's happening? This is my land. Leave. Something happening to the people over here? Okay, let's check the housing situation. Okay, these guys are a little bit overpopulated. Depends on what the food is made out of. It's grain. It's obviously grain. Let's just hope that the people aren't made of grain as well. I mean, what? Who said that? Um, we want to...